Hi guys, today we are back for another video. We are going to play two table of Russian cash 200NL. I start the five minutes ago and I start the recall, but there were, <laughs> I had like no interest again. So I decided to um, do the video again. So we are going to play for, I think at least one hour. So that's going to be a long video. Uh, so hope you enjoyed and if you enjoyed, like subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And you know the story. Uh, okay, now we have tens, a free bet against UTG. I'm going to bet one third on this ball, one third range, which is not a difficult strategy. Um, you should play a bit more polar with a bigger C bet sizing. But the thing is, uh, they play extremely bad against one third. It's a line I know a lot. So I think I will have higher EV uh, using this line. And, and I strongly advise you to simplify the, the strategy here. On the queen, I will check. Even if in some scenarios like tens and jacks are still betting the turn, I don't think in the pool it's great. Uh, and I have tens. Um, so mine is not good at all as a bluff catchers, but I still expect enough bluffs here. Um, so I think I need to call. Um, yeah, that's really close. I'm gonna fall because like my blockers are really, really, really bad. And I think it it has an impact on the EV here, especially when he bet alpha pots. So uh, I'm fine with the fall, even if it it was really close. Uh, H Jack here. I think I'm just going to check here. I don't mind betting. Uh, and now I think his range is not strong enough. The only really strong end he has is like 9, 10, 8. But I think it will size bigger. So now we'll just raise here. And I will uh, I will just uh, I will jump the river. Because I also expect 9, 10s and 8s to often re-raise me on the turn. So now I think he just doesn't have a good end, and I don't expect an off first end. And so here I will, I think I will just jam and I expect to have an awful liquidity. Maybe we don't need to jam, but I think it's the best sizing because it's the sizing we have the most for liquidity on. And I don't expect that many flushes. What the fuck? Okay. Um, well, that's that's happened sometimes. Um, but usually on, on GG on the tight pools, they fall that. Uh, king free here. I'm going to check. You can play polar on this board. Yeah, I wouldn't expect enough call with fans like I said. It's really weird that he snap called. But anyway, yeah. Um, on the river I jump because turn here the timing tail. I think not flush just call way more faster. So I didn't put uh, the uh, not flush in his range, which means he doesn't have that many flushes. King free here against uh, free quarter. I'm always going to call. And yeah, as you see, uh, that, that happens sometimes. I do have to call, but I expect most people to fall here. Anyway. And uh, now on the river, I think I have the best. And I don't see that many people uh, checking. Now it looks like Jack 10 or something like this. I think I will bet. I'll bet 1.5. <laughs> don't, don't, don't try to do that. Now I'm just experimenting. It's not full. Yeah, usually uh, this is not good to do this because... Um, you let uh, him a good price to bluff you. And um, actually, it's never sizing that is used because if you want to value this sizing, uh, it means that you have enough um, EV to bet compared to check. And uh, if your end is strong enough to bet, then you have also sizing. I think with h9 now against the short stack, if we bet a bit smaller, I'm going to bet small. Uh, queen 10 suited here, I'm going to free bet a bit smaller again against the short stack. Uh, no, I bet small. Um, I want to bet small because um, I want him to play the weaker region that I beat completely in terms of equity. And sometimes he's pure raise. Uh, I'm going to just play as a click here. I'm going to explain why I'm not jamming. Um, okay, the, the reason why I'm not jamming, I'm going to bet small with King 10. The reason why I'm not jamming is because sometimes this will happen really rarely, but they will just spaz completely. Um, uh, yeah, if you want, we can run twice. Uh, that's, that's why I clicking and not all in. That, that, that should be the, the same result anyway. And if he wants to call fourth, he can call fourth. Queen 10, I'm going to check the turn. I don't see what I'm value betting on free streets. Now with Queen 10, so I think we should check the turn. Um, I did a small bet on the flop, so he can still have the like ace queen region, king queen region that I will beat. And on the ace, um, I think we only have a check here. Against some people, we like can bet really like two big blinds, but I don't even think it's great in the spot. I don't think they call sixes that much. And uh, now against one third, I don't think I should fold. Um, uh, 
she doesn't bluff like five or four this size in Kyogre. That's really nice. Um, yeah, that's really not easy. Yeah, I'm gonna fall. I think if you bluff, she bluff more the alpha sizing. Like the one first sizing position by the Rex is probably one of the only sizings that just don't bluff enough because it's too much. Um, so expect any a6 in this size. No, actually, I think it's a fall. Uh, I'm completely fine with the fall. Um, I don't think they have enough bluff in this line. Like fishes in general, they over bluff every every um every spots. I mean, not every spot, but most of um the spots you encounter against the Rex, um, they are or they are being way to way too much bluffs. Um, of course, not every spot, um, but spots like this, we where the ranges expect uh, to win bluffs. Anyway, I send my him. Uh, king queen here if free bets got go called um i think we are going to check here king queen i don't see any it is too bad here so i prefer to check uh now on the turn i just don't see which nc is actually um bluffing the turn when it checks i think i need to always bet i'm just going to bet small here because i want to get called by the uh, nine seven. We're going to nine six. We're going to free bet. So that's a bit loose. It's a bit loose. And for the video, I'm going to free bet. And now on the river, I think his range is mainly a king. And if I bet a king alpha pot, he doesn't fold. I don't think he value bet his king when I check. I mean, he can, but he will bet fold it anyway. And he will fold jack stands nice anyway. So I would prefer to bet and value his king or pocket five. Yeah, exactly. Pocket five. <laughs> okay, what the fuck. <laughs> Wow, okay, okay. Honestly, um, in my mind, I was doing one third, he was going to fall this type of hand, so I, I was like, okay, I can do alt pots, but um, that's super red call. Um, okay, yeah, usually in this type of spots, I like to downsize when I get can get called by all these type of hands, but I don't even think knights call that much, so I need to focus on the ace king that is calling my free bet or like. Some is Jack that he might have. And that's why I prefer to, to play this way. Um, I'm going to call. I don't like that much. Yeah, here's zero free bread. Hmm. No, I'm going to fall. This position is full. Depends on the size, actually, but I'm going to fall. I remember it's a fall because... Um, I think six months ago I called Fobet with this hand uh, against uh, small sizing and I check in Monkers to see if the like a balance for betting range with the sizing. Um, I think he did like 2.3 something like this and that was not a call. So now I'm, I'm folding this. Um, Ace four, I'm gonna fold. Pocket nines. Honestly, I think in theory you can fold. And I think in the pool is a fold. Honestly, because she just doesn't play well. I'm still going to call because she looks to free bets um, often. So against this guy, I'm going to call, but otherwise he's just uh, really close. Now I'm going to fold against every sizing. Okay. I don't think you should call this ever against the pool. So um, there's just no way I'm calling. Um, look at queens. I'm going to open here. He's five, same. Okay, in here with queens, he's going to call. He's really tight. How many ends? Okay, no, it's not that many ends. Um, he took a lot of time, so it's easier because he played a lot of tables or just because he was close between call and, and free bet but anyway or maybe choosing his size i'm going to fall a bit small here with queens and he falls so yeah that was a close end that's why i fall better a bit smaller so it's a small trick is in general that's not going to be the case all the time of course but in general it's a weaker range so you just do a bit smaller because you can just call the weaker region um, but be really, really careful on timing analysis. Um, that shouldn't change your action that much. And you can't base your play on timing because you're going to do way too many mistakes and you're not going to maximize your ability this way. 
a4 here on this board you can play b you can play alf you can play i want to play the checking line it shouldn't ch be a check that much but let's let's try it i like to check in these spots because when the flush gets there to see on ace queen ace king when you raise the river so that's why I'm, i like to check this type of hand and against the small bets i'm going to call here oh, you can raise but yeah i think calling is fine and now against alf bots, I um, think we have a good bluff raise. Uh, only problem I have is I don't have that many value in my Percy region. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to raise small. I'm going to try to raise this size. Can't have any 10x, so it puts his 9x in the top spots. And uh, this end should be great as a bluff because he shouldn't bluff that much the first paid. Um, I can have like queen 4, king 4. Um, but that's not that many combos, and uh, you block for free of spades. Um, and the ace of spades, he shouldn't bluff the ace of spades that much. That's why I'm fine with this size. And I think um, he can have a 10x often in this spot, but it feels small, like a not really strong end for me, but not that, not that close. I mean, it's close, and it's really tough, um, even when you play stakes to like be extremely uh, precise on which combo are you taking as a bluff on the river. I think it will not be a bluff face for still on the river, but uh, should be ends that um, blocks uh, the bluffing region in the spots and also block the valley region if it can. Even if it's, I think it's less important because I don't expect that many really strong end when he uses this sizing, uh, this pattern. Uh, nine is I'm going to... Um, Free bet strategic do it's a, you can just range bet here for one quarter, one third, and it's fine. And he folds. Um, yeah, you can really, really, really range bets. It's even better against the pool because I don't think they float enough. Um, this type of board. I mean, in 200 and L more than lower in lower stakes, but if you play lower stakes in general, this board will not be defended enough. Okay, Queen just I'm going to fold. As you see, I'm not snap folding air on the small blind because sometimes I will limping, I will limp it. If it's a uh, recreational uh, in the big blind, usually I, I will limp more because they will never easily enough. And most of them are just snap folding when they don't have a end from the big blind. And so it's it's easy to play. Um because they have to easily like jack deuce off sometimes, and if they just snap fold it preflop, then you just limb the snap check and you can bet and they fold because they're not even in the end. Um, because when they click fold, they switch tables. Uh, jack nines here. I'm going to. I'm going to check here. I don't think betting is that great with this end, and I think check is better. I'm going to call again this size. And river. Uh, snap check. I'm gonna check here. I don't think we have any. Like we can value some pocket pair, but I don't think they are weighted that much in the betting range. Uh, he will check a big part of them on the on on the turn. So I think we just need to check here. We're going to be against some JKX sometimes. All queens. <laughs> I'm not value betting. Okay. Okay. He called queens preflop. Um. Which is obviously uh, not not great. Like cases where you can call queens preflop are really really rare in cash games. Um, the only spot is like if someone's is extremely aggressive, but like the guy is squeezing like fifty percent. Okay, but otherwise I, I will just I just prefer to free bet my hand. Uh, and if the guy is like you have one guy at your left who is really aggressive, like he's playing, he's playing a lot of hands, just free bet the guy with queens and and he will call anyway. Um, the, the guy at your left. Look at seven here. I'm going to call. I'm going to check. I remember when I was squeezing this type of hands back in the days, which I think is okay. Um, but now I'm a bit more careful. It's a bit more known. But if you play lower stakes, um, I. I Advise you to over squeeze for big sizing because this uh, the open razor is not finding enough uh, for the bluff in general. I'm gonna check sevens. Uh, I bluff a lot this type of situations, but I think the of the check with sevens is higher. Ajax here, I'm going to bet small, 
And now with sevens, I'm going to check. Uh, yeah. Jack, we're waiting. And we don't want, unfortunately. And this guy needs a regression model. Uh, it's Jack on the turn. Um, I think here I will bet the big. I'm going to bet pots. We can bet three quarters, so I think it's fine. And if you raise the turn, I think I have the worst end, but okay. Um, so here we should have probably two sizing. Um, I think he's is strong enough to value bet. So you want to have uh, probably a two third sizing and you also want to have um, all in here when you have jacks, for example. This guy doesn't have the nine, doesn't have that many sets. So you clearly have two sizing here. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking if we have free sizing into I think mean, it's two. And ace jack here. Hmm. I think we can have I mean, we should have free sizing, but like the round pot will not be used that much. And ace jack now. Um the thing is if I jam, I think he doesn't call worse. So I will just put this in the big bet uh, region here. And nine seven, I'm going to call and villains fold. Okay. Uh, nine seven here, I will uh, bet way, way too much against check because I just don't expect enough check call. I don't expect enough check raises. So um, I like to bet a lot and um, I expect also uh, uh, too much fall on the on the turn. Um, I'm not gonna bluff. Um, specific reasons, double first of all. So I expect way more call um, of the A6 region compared to when it's not double first of all. So I don't like to to play the same as a bluff here. And now on the river, I just represent nothing. I'm just going to check. I, I don't think he falls any size. Um, but the only only play possible is like 34 uh, big lines, but <laughs> I'm going to do that here. I don't think it's that great. And he had two pairs. Okay. And as you see, he, call, he calls ace eights. Um, but that's not really a problem if he's overcalling the flop because I'm going to bet the turn anyway. And uh, I will I will have just more fold equity here. So it's really tough for them to exploit you in this strategy when you over C bet and over the second barrel in position. Uh, because most of them will just not raise ends that are not really intuitive, I would say. Um, Jack 7 going to open. And Jack 3, that's the bottom. If you play mixed strategy, Jack just should is limp all the time, and Jack 3 is like mixing between opening and, and limping. Uh, Jack 10 here against small blind. I'm going to put small here. I think it's better compared to check than just nothing to do here. We can be really aggressive in splash pots, but not UTG, <laughs> especially not with 10 use. Uh, 10 6 here, I'm going to fold. Check five two. I'm fold freezes off. I'm gonna fold seven five. Oh, okay, I'm gonna call. Look at six is it's an open. Okay, where free bet sizing make him? I think it's a rag, but this is not a good size. Seven five. I'm gonna call. Uh, obviously, calling this uh, type of sizing. Mm, okay. I'm going to call. Okay, I'm going to call. Uh, can we raise here? Because when you raise, you can make four queens <laughs> and be called by a skin to beat. Uh, no, nah, I don't think it's good here. I'm gonna call and on the river. Um, yeah, yeah, that's terrible. Uh, I think he still doesn't have that many flushes played this way. I have probably close to zero bluff in my percy region. I think it's a good spot to bluff. I have sixes. I mean, I block some flushes, I block six, seven if you decided to forbid this. So uh, I'm going to jam and try to make full in like queens, kings, this type of, of region. And he's not full. 
Uh, it was probably a bluff play this way. Um, it's really tough because a lot of players are not going to bet the overpair return on the turn. When they have flushes, I really don't expect flushes to play this way that much. So I'm fine with the all in here. Uh, it's really better to block like fives, but as I say, blockers are not that important in this type of spots because humans' deviations are like way too big to take into consideration blockers, I think. 10 7 against spots, that's uh, really annoying. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna call, but like, not convinced, honestly. No, I'm more convinced. <laughs> I'm more convinced of the call. Uh, he's king here, I'm gonna bet. Okay, now I think it's a king. Uh, I'm gonna join the turn. Um, I think when she has nothing, she will not free barrel that much. There are too many renowns that are bad for me. And I think that's all in, he's just not holding topper. So I'm just going to jump here. And he snap fall. And again, even if it's snap fall, it doesn't mean it's a bad um, end to jump because he still have to bluff the river and even on, on bad renown. So I'm, I'm fine with the, with the move here. And the bad flop is really, really polar. And players that bluff have a lot of combo in there. So I think you still have to call. Even if it's really not that attractive. Mm. I'm going to check in five here. No, no, there's no way he found a better end. So I'm never going to bluff King Guy. And sometimes I have shot on value, actually. Yeah, he has his king. I mean, I think the, the AC region now is like overrated in the pool range. So I'm not going to bluff against this range at all. Not even on Monday, it's like <laughs> just never going to play. Uh, H Jack, I'm going to squeeze this. Like, this is a loose squeeze, but really profitable squeeze because the amount of free race he needs to have is really insane against uh, my strat, and nobody raised that high. Okay, so the range is mainly pocket pair. I don't think he call that much sixes and sevens. I mean, I need to bet here. I'm going to bet six. I think this the second barrel works really a lot here. So um I, I really want to bet here all the time. He will also have like games like Queen Jack, Jack 10, I think. Eight seven off. You can mix against two weeks open, but it's two point five to fall. And I think with this rack, this insane rake on GG, uh Russian cash, I think you can just fold even against two weeks here. Eight three, I'm gonna fold. Um, okay, tens. I'm going to open. Okay. Um, hmm. It's a bit weird. I think I'm gonna call tens because it plays really bad as a re-raise, even as deep. Um, because most things that I have 50%, I mean, a bit more than 50% equity on, just call people by things. I'm not going to play this way. It's queen, I'm going to bet here. I prefer to play as a call, and it keeps the recreational player in the pot. Uh, facing check, I'm going to check here. And facing bets. Oh. We have a call. Mm. Ah... Yeah, we still have a call, but that's really, really close, actually. Yeah. I'm going to call. Yeah, that's close. That's really close. Okay. okay so now, I uh, know it's a full, but I mean, wait, what, what this guy has, honestly? She sounds ace queen so much. Like, he will not jump kings, I think. I mean, he can have kings. The kings might raise the turn. Yeah, I can call. I mean, there is a guy behind in the fold. You say, can you show? For YouTube. One. Okay, let's see if he show his end. Nah. Unfortunately. They don't like to show the ends that much. I understand why. Uh, okay, King Queen, you open. He called really fast. I'm going to check. Uh, it's important not to catch yourself with this type of hand. Like, it's just not that good to bet. 
and uh, the ends that call you when you bet, 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 pick or just better ends. Uh, it's really annoying in this type of size. I think we still have a call, but it should be really, really close. And I can bluff someone else like this. But like the putting range is so strong that even if there is a good or not, I can't really bluff. I don't like this. I'm going to call. Uh, now I can have 7 8, uh, which doesn't mean I need to lead. Just now I want to scare him a bit because usually when I check this way, I think I expect uh, lower bluffing frequency. Uh, if I think he often <laughs> value him. Yeah, now I think it's just value. Um, I don't think he bluffed ever the saving. I don't think he got himself. So I'm going to ask in the chat can you show for YouTube, please? Yolan. Is the channel okay? Jack nine. I'm going to easel here. I'm gonna fold. I think he has his queen. No, queen 10. I, 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 I wanted to say queen 10 instead of his queen. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I say uh, actually, I, I say his queen, and uh, I changed my mind because I think the sizing turn is just, is just full house actually. He just downsized for me to call the air region. Um, so I want to say King, uh, this would have been great, but anyway. And thanks for the guy to show if you watch the channel. Thank you, sir. Um, and yeah, Queen's open. What was the guy? I think it was this guy. I'm gonna save things. Uh, e7, I'm going to free bet here. It's a bit loose, that's fine. Queen's, I'm going to check. <laughs> he probably fall pre-flop and didn't see my message. Um. I'm gonna raise. I, I think when he's sizing, he doesn't have a really strong hand, so you might be tempted to like do really big with his hands, but I think you should just raise small here. Try to get called by like the Jack 10 that's only played four outs, this type of region. And also, you can let sometimes him be raised with the two pair region. A7, I'm going to barrel B here. I expect too much folds. Yep, fold. King 10 off here, I'm going to open. Mm, six five off. Ah, I was I was about to say King 10. Anyway, nobody cares. Uh King 10 here again. This guy, I'm going to bet. Uh, I think I'll spot this a better size. Uh, Queen 10 off, I'm gonna fold. Now I need to bet on this card. I'm gonna bet this size. He fault. Okay, the reason why I bet Alphabet is because I think he called the same range. And I'm going to say, yeah, but you won't bluff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I want to bet the turn all the time. So um uh, I know that the calling range between uh, one third and not fault in this spots are close, and I know I'm going to overbluff anyway, and I know he's going to overfold anyway. So uh, I just want to take more money. That's why I bet alpha. But usually, you want to size up in value when people don't know you. But when they know you or you play as them often, for obvious reason, you can't play too exploitative. Um, and that's why, as you see, I don't, I don't, I don't do that many explodes. Um, because I know that if I show only uh, like insane explode every time, it's not something that you can replicate in your environment. Uh, if you play Zoom, that's that's possible. Um, but if you play uh, sites where the traffic is not that high, people might see you, uh, like might just understand what you're doing. Um, Okay, so we have a tight guy here and a wreck, I guess, here, given the sizing he did. So I'm going to open close ends here. And when he free bets, I'm going to actually he has 40% free bet. Uh, sometimes there are bugs on GG, so you need to be careful. But yeah, it's, um, let's call this because he free bets really, really often. Otherwise, just a fall. Uh, again, this sizing I'm going to call. We don't really have a good end, uh, but there are a lot of renowns I can bluff. So I'm going to make Lose a call. And uh, now on the turn against half, but um yeah. 
No, I'm gonna fall. It's not good enough. Jack nine, I'm gonna fall too, I think. Look at sixes, I'm going to open and ten seven, I'm going to fold. Be a fold, but I think I can put enough pressures in position as deep, so I think it's a profitable call. Um, and be really careful on the free bet side in pre flop because some sometimes it will oversize. I'm gonna fold nine sixes, even if it might be a bluff on some runouts. Um, so I don't mind over calling to like bluff spades combo, but I think the betting region when he do alpha pots, when he does alpha pots is a bit too strong. So I will have less e fall equity when he checks, I think. Then do soft always a fold if he leaves or oh, will raise this type of fence because it just don't limp raise, limp raise enough. And that's why I say all the time, when you face a limp from a small line, you should probably ease or close to 100% because the amount of limpy raise is way, 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 way uh, lower compared to theory. And if you go in Monker and you put a limp calling range and not limp raising range, you will see that Monker will just rage really often. Of course, you can't... Um, I'm going to check a3 here. You should play a mixed strategy. It's not a range bet. But if you play a range bet, it's fine. Uh, 97 deuce is a check super often. And you, you can have a small betting region, but that's really rare. And here in these spots, I remember uh, somebody sent me the an end. And uh, what you do here is you... Um, wait, I'm going to play the turn here with a3. Uh, I'm going to bet off pot, which is not really terribly optimal. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, um, someone sent me a spot like this where he, uh, you should overbet pocket sevens to um, make fall the ends like clubs uh, and get called by two pair, which was pretty funny. Um, I think I'm gonna raise the turn directly here. I'm just going to one street bluff. Um, first, it's easy for him to cheap, and I expected no falls here. It's tough for me to find the bluff. Um, so I'm I'm fine doing this because most people fall in in this spot. So I I, I really expect uh fall directly on the turn with the low clubs region. Even if the low clubs region shouldn't be that much in his range, because in weight he in weight um analysis he can just uh put the lower clubs into check. But he can also put the higher clubs region in the bet often on the top. So six five here is deep um if you play lower stakes just fall i think on Renel you can start calling this sense depending on the guy uh, and you can watch actually the free bet uh, frequencies because what you can see is uh, often the people that free bet a lot also players that know how to fall bets um so you can use um um matching profile uh, rules to help you with this type of decision which i will change the name of, of this concept by the way because it's more like uh it's more something to, it's more something uh, linked to to towards the Bayesian thinking. Anyway, anyway I, I will explain the concept uh, in another video. I'm gonna call this six five here. Uh, now I think I should lead uh, ten eight here. I'm going to bet the turn. And now with six five. Mm, no, I don't think I should lead. I'm gonna check. I don't think it's great against the pool. checks and now yeah now he has his king <sighs> can i bet three blinds no because i think check is better yeah he's going to check black but anyway maybe not at the ends i value when i bet or just betting the, the reversal doesn't make sense to bet I don't think they call the skin region that, that much. Now I'm going to jump. And actually here, it's really important to think about your action because jamming is not that intuitive. Like I can maybe use those reciting. This is great to at least think about it, but I think here I just need to jump. I'm going to jump in last seconds here. Three, two, 
وان جمب um, pocket nines I'm going to check here that's a funny spot directly because if I bet the turn here I should call some pocket four pocket threes which is just five uh, she's just four I and yeah he called with queens I never love this type of spots but um yeah, maybe it can win. I don't think it's a pool is winning. Uh, now with pocket nines, ah, spot is tough because I think I just need to focus on the on the yeah. I'm gonna bet alpha spot just to get called by all his range here. I don't think I need to bet bigger. Focus on the pocket six, pocket seven region. I think I will need to this type of size. And I think unfortunately I did a mistake. Uh, I should have sized up here because. Always, always think and uh, ask you. Okay, if as you call like a bigger size, and here yeah, you do twenty nine. He calls exact same range. It was two point five blinds. It was a mistake. That was bad. Which deck I'm going to open? Um, I'm going to bet a spot here on nine nine juice. You shouldn't bet his jack here, but who raise? Who's calling enough? <laughs> Nobody. Not for this nine. So you rarely realize we're between the betting line, which is funny. Uh, Fair for here, I'm going to fold. I say two. Why are we not going to do a two hour video? I never saw this on YouTube. Two hours live play. One hour is long. But two hours is better. Hmm. I should have played the EPT today, but <laughs> I was sleeping. I was good in my. I was lying in my bed. Like, oh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play a small tournament. I think not a big one. Uh, it's not enough. No, it, no, that's not a good call here. Yeah, I think when I play, uh, probably like two uh, K or three K. I'll, I'll see. I will play maybe cash if there are caches. Tables. I don't know when I will be released this video. Maybe it will be after the EPT. We know. Uh, 10 sevens here. Who knows? I'm going to fold. Uh, if you play really lower stakes, you can't free bet this because people are not for betting enough and you can just manipulate them way too easily uh, for swaps. Um, so, yep. Even if it's Really loose. If I'm gonna fold, the reason why we five six I think at the last seconds is because if he thinks about it, which value range will wait the last seconds to jam? It's something I said in another video. Um, it's uh, when people tank uh, the last seconds and the jam, for example. Uh, it's way, way more fun to bluff because people in value don't take the risk to go at the last seconds. So what I say to myself is, hmm, maybe <laughs> maybe he watched my video and uh, he will remember that and do the call. But yeah. Anyway, so I really try to think all the time, like which timings uh, generate more call, but it's so difficult to have the answer because... Um, even if you try um, some timing, for example, against some guys, it might not even be uh, useful uh, metrics uh, because you will have buyers. Um, so it needs to be really precise, but it takes so much time to analyze. I mean, yeah. And it, it, timing should be correlated um, um, with the number of table uh, somebody plays. So be really careful because sometimes you think you will see timing tail, but the guy is just playing nine table. And sometimes you, you think you will see a uh, timing tail, but the guy was just, I don't know, he was with his wife or whatever. Uh, a, a screen here and on this board. Um, I don't want to say about that much here because I don't have that many full liquidity on the uh, bet, bet, bet line given the stack size. So I will prefer to check this in. And again, south what I would fold. GG. Next fold from folding. 
Fold. You know what? I will do two hours. I will do two hours. Okay, K7, I'm going to fold. A8, I'm folding. By the way, I'm not playing on GG anymore. I think I, I say this at every video I'm doing, but yeah, as I said, I lower my rake back, so it's just not rough fit anymore. I just like let a small role to play sometimes. But not playing on Zeri. I'm not playing that much, by the way, at this moment. I'm working on a project. I don't have some personal stuff I need to fix. Um, at seven. Uh, Pocket nice. I think it's a mistake because he looks like a rag. Oh no, he's not a rag. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check. I think it's similar. 100 dips and playing a bit deeper. I prefer to have more checks. I'm gonna check 9.7. It's not that good for you as a board, so um, you can check check this type of end sometimes. Uh, when he bets here, I'm gonna call. Also, the reason why I overcheck flush rules is because. I don't have that much flush rules in my first region when I check. And when I bet my flushes and there is a flush on the turn and I bet again, they are not, the pool is not pulling enough. So I think you, depends on the flush rule, but you make more money here with this type of hand. And I'm going to raise really, really big here and pocket nines. I'm going to call the small bets. I'm going to check the jack. I'm going to raise here really, really big. Oh, he's not full. Okay, that was maybe a bit to be. <laughs> yeah, I have nine. Uh, I have nine flush nine, nine. I don't think he has that many flushes played this way anyway, especially with this type of side. Mm, but yeah, actually, this was too big. Yeah, this was that was way too big. Way, way, way too big. Uh, yeah, I was watching my size and uh, I said to myself, "Well, I, I don't, I don't have the nut flush now. I don't even have the third one." So yeah, yeah, that was too big. Yeah. That was a mistake. It's important to understand why you did the mistakes here. I think it's just because I was not focused uh, enough. I think if I really focus, I don't, I don't do this type of side. So sometimes you're going to do mistakes uh, because you're not focused. Sometimes you're going to do technical mistakes and it's important to uh, note them and Try to see um, which um, portion of the game you're doing the, the most uh, mistakes here. It's enough here against the Twix open. I'm going to call. Check. And against output, I'm going to... This is close. We're to raise with this of diamond. I'm going to call. I'm going to call. Okay, I'm going to call again. No. Uh, I think if you bet too big, I fall here. I don't think they bluff. Yeah, I'm going to fall. <sighs> oh, yeah, this type of spots. The thing is, like, who wants to make fall 10 here? Nobody, okay? Who is valuating a 10 like this? Or who is making fall 10? Not that many people. So I need to fall. I'm going to show you his game. Show for YouTube. No, I fold. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now I wanted to fall, but um, oh. because of the shortcut I had on the computer, but I'm sure he's in. I think it's full, honestly. I think it's even an, it's actually a super easy fall. It's not difficult, but it's really full. I thought about for two seconds. I thought about jumping, but I don't think it's that great. That's so tough. I always have a six when I jump. But which holding full? Not many people. I'm going to four bet kings here. And he's king against the four bets. Uh, I want to fall, guys. <laughs> I think it's kings. Uh, no. I, before this setting was ace king, I think, three years ago. I, I'm sure it's kings. I, I'm going to I'm gonna. Um, can we lead? All right, let's think about this. So, theoretically, it's like never a lead. I'm gonna check. Okay, it's not check. Okay, I'm gonna check again. Okay, 
Camp. Jump. Yeah, I need to get called by um, kings, queens now. If we get kings, I'm going to bet the turn again. I'm going to jump. Yeah, that's why I wanted to lead. She can bet now. I wanted to lead because nobody's bluffing free suit on a side board and the, um, I'll check into magic kings, queens region. Um, I oh, have aces. No, he has ace king. Okay. Mm. Okay. No, he had this king. So why the reason why I thought uh, he had kings? Uh, a lot of players are, um, are doing a bigger sizing to uh, let them think. Uh, I mean, to let me think they have a ace king, but actually they have kings. I think I overthink too much. It, it's they do more this. Uh, they do more this in ice takes, but I think for like he just wanted to protect this. That's why I'm not falling too far. I mean. Uh, I mean, I was close, but <laughs> I think you shouldn't fall. That's why I have this call in these spots, because even if I don't really want to jump, because at this tag depth, with this size, I expect no 4 bet falls. Um, I think it's still better to call, because... Yeah, I mean, you can have a skin. Mm, I think kings I played a bit too fast, but I've check should be better on the turn, because the end I value when I... Bet check, uh, bet turn. Yeah, but zero bet falling against race. I don't think they call that much on the flop against the bet. So. No, I'm fine. Uh, King Jack here. I'm going to bet small. Maybe that, maybe I'll spot is a bit better. That should be close. Uh, is Queen of here? I'm going to open. Okay. Uh, is Queen of? I'm going to check. I mean, there is no way I can bet here for ways. Going to call ten nine, especially against two X, and because I think this guy is a wreck, and this guy is a wreck. But otherwise, I would have fall if like so two point five open. I don't think ten nine is a call. Mm. Yes, yeah, should call, but it's super close. You often have a better end, but I think still okay as a call. And now it's exactly what I'm calling because now I have no bluffs when I put. I'm gonna put but put a bit less like twelve. I think it's great. But he's going to call his queen when he bet twelve, no? Yeah. Should be okay. And he has donuts when he checks the turn, so I can maybe bet really really big also. Yeah, not close. Uh is six off we're going to call. Philips I raise. In this spot, if we tank Wimp, we might think he has more overpairs, but actually, overpairs play often faster. So, I mean, do strong and play for faster. So, it's not because he tank and Wimp that I will see him stronger. On this type of spots, I uh, six off open. And um, this flop here that should be a check often. I don't think they call me enough when I bet big, and I think bet small is actually better than the check against the 200 NL pools. I'm going to bet small. Um, I, I'm playing always complex strategy when I play 1k, 5k, because um, I think if you can execute them correctly, or like at least a bit correctly, it's going to be higher EV. But if you play uh, like 200 NL and lower, you can just, you can just play... Um, not simplified, but easier, easy, easier strategy. I mean, even simply simplify sometimes is great. I don't think you should oversimplify everything. 
uh, especially like if you want to be better in flopsy bets, if you always think about what's the sizing you wants to do, that's probably a nod because of knocks here. Uh, I'm gonna fold King six. Right. Actually, I should call this in. Yeah, but if you bet, uh, this is a smart if he's red, is red because it's a uh, free bet sizing from a fish. And I don't want to call that much King six against a fish. Yeah, I'm gonna fall. Let's play solid. Uh, because he's gonna fall. That's really a smart move. Like you're in the big blinds, small blind open. Nobody knows you. <laughs> you free bet eight, and now he's are in tough spots because he said don't know your reg as he can't pop it up that much. Um, Jack is seven falling. Seven five. I'm folding. Also, open with a bigger setting on the fishes in the big blind. If you play a cutoff button, uh, it would just be I review. Okay, I'm gonna call. I try to guess his end. So I would say King Jack, the Jack of Diamond, and the King of Spade. Oof. No, I say Jack of Diamond. Okay. I was, I was close. I was close. Okay. Uh, five on the river. Five of hers. Mm, no, this. Um, I remember when uh, in stream I uh, I said the exact turn, exact river, and it was this. It's pretty happy. It's still now open here. Nine seven. I'm going to call. Especially against freaks. Hmm. Like again, we can use MP uh, MP rules here. Like the profiles are passive on the flop, often pass often the same as passive on the turn. And the ends I make fall when I bet the turn on just folding the river. And, and here, like East Queen H Jack has like higher equity. So I prefer to check. And I also expect the value regions to open bet the turn. So um I think it's just better to delay the aggression to the river here. Yeah. yeah. Uh King six here, and now it's when he doesn't raise me on the flop, it's just free barrel, you know. That's why I will oversee bet this type of ball against Rex because they will raise way too many flushes. And I expect to fall frequency on maybe renouts, even if there is a diamond. Maybe not that much at this position, but in general, they will just fall up too much. I'm going to free bet tense. We call. And this board is not that great, but you don't, don't really care. This SPR here, tense is pretty strong. I'm going to bet small here. Don't think you need to bet bigger. And the ace is terrible. I'm going to check. Uh, you bet 10%. No, I don't think it's great here. I'm going to check. Oh. Well, no, I need to call the off pot. But uh, that's not that easy. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, that's a call. Yeah. Uh, H6 here for this is a good bluff, especially for this size. Because if you jump, they call. <laughs> uh, yeah. Open. yeah, I think this size will be over bluffed. Uh, that's not that easy because you will often lose, but it should be uh, still. Uh, I don't know if this size is a call. Um, I think no, but. I don't, know, I don't play cash game to think about this, but I just don't like them. Uh, Ace 4 should be a call against tweaks by this guy, especially if it's a wreck. Uh, so I'm going to check. Check. Um, I'm going to check here. Um, based on thinking now, Profile has checked the flop and trap often by the turn in value. And Profile has checked um, air on the flop, often check air on turn. Because of passive, so I can just bluff the river. And now I have a national value. I think I'm not going to bluff that. 
But if he if he's over falling and it's like over bet, I, I should over bet actually. Uh, because if I over bet, he fall pocket freeze and he fall a six, then the check is shit, absolutely bad. Uh, uh, so I think in these spots in general, uh, again, if we think, uh, um, if you have a Bayesian thinking and we try to manipulate uh, weights in the, how we perceive the range, we will see that often the players that check check a six and pocket freeze are the same players. That actually falling in the spot, so I expect an overfold uh, frequency given the line that he play. Um, not sure I'm really clear uh, by, by this, but I think I will explain maybe a bit more in the comments if you like. Uh, yeah, the check was shit. That that was a bad one. Uh, I should have bluff all the time, even if I have a size. Just there's just high EV against the pool. That that was not good. Because they make fold the pocket pairs and all the SI. And yeah, it was only when you get called by veterans. But I don't think veterans call that much. Uh, ace four off here. Uh, I ease I'm going to bet small on the flop. Call turns a deuce. I'm going to check. And if he bets the river, I call probably close to him sizing. Okay, he think. Okay, let's say he play four tables. I'm going to check the turn. I'm still trying to think about what timing is better on a turn for them to bluff the river. No, I think I have the best time. I'm going to bet uh, something like six. I think with Pocket Bear, he's at least considering value betting, so I think I have the best time. Yep, nice jack. Got him. And the snap check is really easy, so I think so. Uh, now on the jack, I'm going to put... Yeah, I'm gonna put. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's not really <laughs> that's not really what I wanted to do. Uh, nah, I kind of feel the bluff is a bit monotony. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to make follow Jack. I, I'm really trying something here. Honestly, like. I don't even think it's really great. <laughs> oh, jeez. Just because I misclicked. I'm really trying here. Like, I will... I think if I really, really want to play perfectly, I just don't do that. Oh, jeez. That's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh, anyway. I'm fine. I mean, I just misclicked the turns. No, I was still curious if he can fall, but ah, that's so weird that he call this anyway. Ah. I mean, this is not weird because if you check this on the flop, I expect this type of hands to call the river. Uh, King Jack is unfortunate to fall against the race. I, I can bluff Diamond Renault. But like my odds are not clean at all. Yeah, that's not that easy. Yeah. That wasn't the best bluff <laughs> I did, but I think the problem is like I don't know the guy, like maybe he's just a whale and just called too much. And and he will fall sometimes, clearly. Like you, you will find players that overfall in these spots, but the range is too condensed to our uh, good end, so I shouldn't have bluffs. I uh, thought was too curious. Anyway. <sighs> just because I misclick. Like, I know if I pot, I just don't love. Anyway, that's an excuse. I should have just checked the vision, not, not start to try stuff. And it's a full. It's been one hour. I'm going to play another hour, I think. I'm a bit curious, like, how like two hours video can perform to find a good title. Uh, maybe I can put the end in the um, the mail. I mean, I will I'll check with my editors. I'm going to free bet this. Um... Hold. Uh, be careful on... Uh, yeah, he opened freaks. I think it's... Because the guy is limp and open freaks. I expect the open freaks to be a bit stronger. So, um... yeah, maybe fold. Maybe fold was a bit better. 
I'm gonna put his uh, uh, schooling station. That, that's insane that he called his queen. Because like when I'm in value, I know people don't hold that many jackets and in general, uh, nobody's blessing this spot. But let's not be result oriented. East enough, I'm going to open. Then free, I'm going to free bet here and king six of oh, fold. Here's who I knew, I knew he was going to pop it so much. Oh la 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 la. I know he was going to pop it because he thinks like four seconds before opening. Uh, but that's that's not precise. Sometimes it will fall. I, again, I can't feel that. I can't rely on my decision on the timing pre -fog. I knew so much. I, I, I was starting to say he's going to fall it. I knew it. I knew it when I free bet. I, I was feeling the fall it. Anyway. Again, just it's fine that he he, he fall bets, but don't judge too much. You have more EV to lose compared to EV to gain. Uh, Jack 9 off here. I'm going to insert call against tweaks. Yeah, especially if you're going to be loser with the edge, etc. Going to free bet with ace eight. A bit loose, but it's fine. Jack nine here. I'm going to. I bet three quarter. I think. Should have the best end across all the time. And obviously fall against uh, four bet here. Okay. Uh, King Jack, I'm going to open. Okay, uh, I don't think he has a good end that much, so I'm going to call. You bet again. Nah, I think now it's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna explain my thinking. He's going to check, and I'm gonna win. No, why are you not betting the river? <laughs> um. Oh, uh, it's maybe a shitty call. Is he betting too far with an ace? Yeah, I don't feel like ace jack is queen or nothing. Wow. Ah, that should be a terrible call. I'm gonna call. Oh, I don't like this one. I'm, I'm thinking I'm too curious in this spot. But... Oh. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fold. Okay, here okay, nice. So the reason why I'm calling on the turn is because I, I think the a6 that he represents so like a strong a6. And I think he when he bluffs, he just give up all the time. And it's a spots where some players just never, never, never have an ace. And it's top of line. And if they never have an ace, they just have a bluff and they will often give up the river. So I think there are a lot of scenarios when the call is actually winning. Um but yeah, uh, but I think that the the line was a bit too strong, especially the turn side. Is, that's what makes me fall. <sighs> anyway, uh, I'm going to check in Jack. I don't think they call enough the turn, so no way I'm getting this in. Like, the only sizing... I mean, if they don't call enough, you can down the sizing here, but yeah. Yeah, turn was close. I uh, fall, you can fall, fall, uh, can fall, and turn is close. Because, like, some, some players just don't bluff with the sizing, just don't bluff. I'm going to bet here three quarter, uh, maybe a bit smaller, they fall too much. And if you raise, uh, yep, he didn't anyway. King four, I'm going to bet the turn. Fold. I don't mind checking as you said. And five, I'm folding. It's a two nine eight off also. Uh, Jack four, I'm gonna fold. Mm. 
check my print here. I need to fold. Uh, king, king, queen. I can bet. I don't mind checking. Here in the spot. Uh, king Jack, I'm always betting on this flop for all spot because they don't trade that much. And once they call the caps, so you can just bet, bet, bet all the time. Uh, against small C bet here, I'm going to raise small. I'm going to click goodbye. <laughs> uh, Jack's I'm going to open. Yeah, so this uh, seven four three. I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, it's not that good either. But this type of connected board usually is there on um, not coming in off free street uh, when I bet there also. I will often bet the bet, but it depends on the boards. Because if it's like uh, like free card connected, there are a lot of turns going to be straight, not going to be tough to play. So, yeah. uh, you can play one third here, that's fine. Against alt bottom, I'm going to call. And river, oh, not folding. And no, I'm not folding here. <laughs> and he has tens. No, he has queen free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, ace queen here. I am going to. I'm going to bet the flop. I think it should be play um like at least fifty percent or check here, but I'm fine. Just bet this size, and I'm betting on the turn again. Okay. I'll... Not the thing when you tank check tank call here. I think he's doing cinema. I'm gonna fold. Again here I, I don't base my decision on, on the time, just this card is not that great to bluff. Uh and you can have other combos. Um I think the combos that bluffs are coming more from the uh, like king queen region, this type of thing. Even if we have like good blockers, I mean good removal because we don't block too many faults. Because the main call like um, clubs are like uh, yeah clubs clubs spade spade diamond diamond heads. So the end you have has a positive impact on the folding region. The fold seven five. Uh, is five off here. I'm going to call. Find yourself from falling. Um, can we squeeze ace five? I'm gonna squeeze against this guy. It looks like a wreck, and wrecks just fall too much. I can squeeze. I'm gonna squeeze ace five off, even if it sounds loose. Like, I don't expect any left raise because he played 80 deep, so he needs to raise 27 fall, but people don't do that that much. And when I say it's a do this all the time, but. Um, yeah, I just don't expect enough bluffs. So if he doesn't bluff, it's really the move. Like you win so much money if he doesn't fall back enough. And spell blind just can't call. So that's why I advise you uh, if you play 300 and less, just squeeze all the time like this. Even if you play 500 and it's gonna work. Even in one K, it's working, but not against every players. Jack nine, I'm going to fold. 10-9 against, I think it's a wreck I'm going to open. Which is loose. Jack 10 is the bottom. But I'm going to open. No, okay. 10-9 off. I'm going to call. With elf bots. I'm going to call against elf bot here. Look at Jacks. I'm going to re-raise. I'm going to raise 23. And 10 9 here against the check. I'm going to bet. Okay. What? That doesn't make any sense. Um... Yeah, but then it's just called Donk. Can uh, just play as a bet on the turn. Uh, I'm going to fall. Um, pocket jacks. I'm going to bet small here. Not that small. 
Settings OK. Oh. Oh, I think I need to call. This is awful. This is awful. Oh, if he doesn't play tennis, way I'm like literally always behind, except when he has like a screen. I don't know. But like aces can think about so playing. Kings can jump free flop queens too. I think I need to call the time. GG fast queens just I can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, tens in this this case it's still tough. But I think like. Aces will often jump, kings too, even queens. So, like, I mean, so open directly towards jacks and tens. So, I need to play this way. Yeah. Not like the spots, but need to go. And sometimes you need to fall jacks, but not in this one. Okay, East 10. I would have call if it's a small free bet, but this is too big to call East 10. King Jack, I'm going to raise. Okay, I'm going to check here. Um, hmm. Can I do something here? No, <laughs> I'm gonna check. I'll take to bet really, really small, like 1.5. Like you may fall 6-5 and you get called by a weaker range, but I prefer to do that with all the hands. If you have too much even the check check line, I'm gonna check the river first. And if you bet, I think it falls. Ten eight, yeah. Oh that fold. Uh King Jack I'm going to free bets. Uh he looks to play tight. I think calling is better. Yeah. Uh has a high free bet frequency, so but people that play tight don't forget that much usually. I'm gonna respect the ranges. I'm gonna call I think it's better to call this and free flop against profile. I should play uh one quarter and ten percent. This is too big. Um uh, yeah. Um the thing is like it's one he bet small, I gain money by bluffing and skins and queens and jacks, but now I don't think he has them in this size. And uh, bluffing region and value region is over, over weighted toward a six, so I think I should just fall. Even if you can have bluffs. I in general player to play one third, just by the turn of the name, so like country lies make it too wild in this type of bets. Knight seven, I'm gonna call here and wreck. It's because it's two x, so otherwise I fold. And the flop we're going to call. Go check. Call. I'm gonna tank. Just to let him uh, value bet scene a bit less, and uh, don't bluff less also. Queen Jack. No, Mage Jack. Oh, that's close. It's really tough to guess the exact thing. King Queen here, I'm going to free bets. I'm going to bet one quarter here. We fold. I should to be a bit tired, but I'm going to continue here. I'll just force myself. Um, okay, I'm never falling for it. It's just GG. Oh, I must feel like king so much. I'm going to lose against kings and I'm not going to be happy at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I 
I know so I play so many enemies. I know exactly what to do. I know his kings. Because Ace King takes his times. So I should have called that this is a weak jump. That's not great. No, I can call it's 37. What can I call? Yeah, I can call it surely. Honestly, I can call people. I know. For you, it sounds like a setup, but I can assure you, in, with my analysis, it's just a fall. Anyway. Uh, King Jack, I'm going to play off pot here. Alpha range is so great against the pool in spots. Because you shouldn't mix here, you can't range bad, but they're not raising that much. Uh, the strategy on the ace is only small size. You shouldn't play with big sizing. Maybe the extension of ace king. Here, just just play. I'm gonna play small. I don't expect enough call here. And I uh, will not raise enough. Like when you do the one quarter size, it means to raise pocket juice, pocket five, pocket five, and general just don't do that. So I very, very really always make with you a bit. There are like uh, also parameters to take into account. I just know the range many times here, and it's great. GG if you bluffs and. Wow, it's never value in. Wow, I want to do crazy stuff. Wow, it's never value in. Can I click here? I'm gonna raise. Oh geez, that may be super skew, but I don't think he has a value in. Wow, that's completely insane what I'm doing right now. I, I think he doesn't have the balls to call the bluffing region, so I can just give up here. Hmm. The time passes. I think my move <laughs> is not that great. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, I'm going to bet small with kings. Hmm. I think he's doing a little cinema. But anyway. Uh, pocket kings here. I'm going to bet. Actually, I will. I think I will play the value in the same way because when I call, I don't expect no bluffs on the river. So, I think this guy is. I played this guy at one case. If all, let's go. You got him. Yeah, just a secret on the size and on the pattern. And yeah, and maybe he did an amazing fall, actually. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, maybe he fall ace queen. Who knows? Because he really, really, really tanked for a long time. Yeah, maybe he fold an ace. Yeah, let's say he fold an ace. I don't think, but <laughs> let's say he fold an ace. Uh, that's actually really possible. But he didn't raise a lot of a6 anyway. And I call king gates. I strongly advise you not to do this type of move because you will just lose too much. Okay. Uh, myself, I force also myself do not do them too much, but when you get through, it's great. Uh, don't really like this side, but we're just going to call. Uh, I don't think he called that much when I raise. Yeah, just just a call here, super standard. And here the bluff, okay. Uh, kings, queens here against the race. I think we're going to re-raise if hand. Just clicking here, I think it's a bit better. I don't want to call because nobody bluffs when they call. And they're not bluffing with King Jack free streets. So you can just deny the bluffing region. That's, that's fine. And if you raise a, for protection, a pocket break, he might be tempted to call. And as I said, when I call, he doesn't give me money with the bluffing region. So there's no way to call. Uh, call will be the IRS TV here in the no. Base four here, I'll squeeze. I'll raise. Now I have my thumbnail. <laughs> Uh, King seven off here. All up and against Rec. I'm really, really curious on what he folded on this team. Hmm. Really curious.
I'm really not sure the king is actually. I mean, it goes through, but. No, I'm actually, I'm fine. I mean, I don't want to call. Can I call the flop? Um, so he, we saw him that he check uh, top pair, but he doesn't have that many of them. And uh, they beat all the tens. There is king now on the ball. First of all, I don't think he fully uh, is king. So I'm going to go for the sin value bet here because uh, I just expect too many call by him. And on the river, I will just bet one third now. The problem with uh, betting bigger is if you start falling the ace king region, uh, it's just astonishingly bad to bet big. So I will just try to bet one third here. And I think he will call ace king super often. Um, he had uh, ace king. Yeah. Uh, be careful here because some players, when you have like ace king, uh, they will bet, and when they have queen, they will check. But I don't think it will happen that much. Uh, Jack's here. I'm going to call the call for bets. Uh, Pocket Jacks. Cool. A6 here, I will bet. Uh, I'll bet one third. Like 100% enough. Can I just call it against his range, actually? Yeah, GG, GG, GG. Uh, Jax now. Uh, you can take your decision on the turn because once he does his sizing, he will always put the third barrel. So I think you can take your decision on the turn. Uh, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call and call. Yeah, I know I can call the turn. That's really surprising. I think I have the best name. No way he's checking races. I'm gonna bet alpha, try to get called by. He can have queens maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. I don't think it's uh, safe enough here. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? Why he did? She, why did she check kings? Yeah. I, I'm, pff, I swear. I think I should follow the turn because like most players just never play as a check on the river. So um, ace king here. I'm gonna call the turn. Look like it. And it's book at five. No. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um yeah. H9 off here. I'm going to open. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'm not saying it's for YouTube. No, because... Uh, okay, I'm gonna check. The only reason why I'm checking is because Ace King. Oh wow. Oh, sorry, man. I think it's a good fall. Huh? <sighs> Put that on YouTube. You know what? I really, really think it's a good fall. Not against me, but I think it's a good fall. I 
I mean, he, he tell me he's in. I will, I will see. Uh, let's keep check. He tell me, so I will tell him. Um, it's nine now. Oh, I, I didn't put intention to, to the end. Like you fall. If you want to see me. Um, king, queen, king to bed off. Wow. Ace king. I like when I say the. Uh, that's why maybe it was not the best move because when I say, um, but what I think thought about the end is like on the river when he called. I say I was going to give up, but I reconsider my option when he was thinking because so tough for him to call. I don't think he will raise this way like nine seven. Anyway, uh, king queen. I mean, maybe he didn't have a king, uh, but I don't think he will lie. I want to check back. I think you can block this spot in protein with him. And if he bets, probably falls. Yep. Yeah, anyway. I feel bad to say I have King Jack when he did a big fold. That's why I'm not happy to say that. Anyway. Queen just off, I'm gonna fall. I'm going to open. And we have 30 minutes more together. Start to be retired, <laughs> but that's fine. And uh, I'm gonna fold. Ice Queen, I'm going to open. Nice queen of and four betting here. Super often a four bet, just don't call this pre flop. I mean, you can, that's, that's not bad, right? He folds. Uh, if you want to change the your four bet sizing, if you don't play the same guy, you can change. So if you think that in value it's better to do freaks and in bluff it's better to do 2.6. Do two point six in bluff, three x in value. If you play against different opponents, they will never see that. If you play against one single opponent all the time, of course, don't do this because I mean they will see it, but not that, not that often. Uh, I mean, not that uh, fast. Will take time. I'm gonna play this as a bit small. I'm gonna have spot here. Technically, it's fine. I'm trying more and more this sizing. And yeah, so I was right. He pulled the big strong ace. But um, if he has an ace, no, I can have the bluffing region too. I, I think uh, the, I'm fine with the free bird. Anyway. But King Jack is, you really have nothing. Like, it's even better to bluff with pants because at least you have two odds against most of the value region. I mean, all the value region. But... Anyway, let's uh, speak about all the spots. 10 7 off. I'm going to fold. Uh... Mm -mm. Can just fold. Can you just, I'm going to fold. I didn't limp too much in the small line. Today, but I think it's because I was not, I was not really careful on who was playing the big line. But if you play, you should. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ice tree is not that good, but against two weeks, I'm gonna fold. Ash with the bottom. Ash four is better than ice cream. Okay, uh, a bit small. You can check range. 
But like double broad boards or like boards you can close to range, but here it's fine. I don't want to throw like six, so I like the bets. I don't want to check for it. And on the king, um can play big size, but not too big. Um I wanna play this as a check to check race. Okay. Um now bluff that and I think I will hmm. nah. Yeah, I didn't think enough about it here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I thought about which sizing was the best. Uh, I think the chip size is probably not the best in this spot. It's not bad, but I think there are better options. And now this king, I'm doing my special trick here in these spots. I check. I want to bet a race. And good luck with tens. Really good luck. And I like to jam because if they don't know me, if they can't see me on these kings, it's impossible. Uh, but because we play deeper, I think he has more uh, kings and aces in his range anyway. Uh, I'm gonna raise really small. And we can let him bet for uh, some like, king queen, maybe his queen also, so I'm, I'm fine. And now, hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to jam. I think he has too many, too many aces kings. I'm gonna check. But otherwise, I think the jamming is fine. Like so tough for him when he has jack or kings. Can I check jam? No, no, I can't. Yeah, no, I need to fall now. Okay, that was um not that great, but eight six for the bottom bottom of the Olympic region here. Yeah, that's fair. That's bottom. That should be okay. Yeah, that should be okay. And jamming strategy, that's that's a nice move, especially against limbs, because in general people limb fall too much because they tend to open the stronger region. But now once it's close to all raise, they will also limb to a strong ends. But the, if you over uh, over um, jamming these spots, it's a, that's a good strategy, and you, you should you should do it too. Four from folding. H jack will open here and jack ten off will open too. Squeeze here, easy, easy squeeze. Uh, which sizing is he will be the more scared against? Yeah, we'll do eleven. Let's try. I think I already saw this guy like, forgetting me a lot, so. He will not be scared. The reason why I'm not doing 14 is I don't think this guy will be scared to, to, to put like 32 blinds to bluffs. Uh, but then can I re-raise because if he bluffs too much, if he holds too much, no, I think his jack is way too weak. Here was I you. Ace 9, I'm going to check. And the river. Mm, I think he has. Mm, Pocket fours. No, okay, for free. Okay, he didn't bluff. So. I'm gonna know this. Okay, King Queen, I'm going to open. H9, I'm going to open.
Yeah, but for the King Jack then yes, the King. I don't think he has the the sets in the re-raising line, so I can really make for a lot of things when I re-raise him back. Even the value in part of the valuation. Yeah. Okay. Uh nine eight one fold. King Crusade number four. They were less great than on the beginning, I think. That's fine. King Jack off here. Um oh well, okay. So profiles the three bet three percent, um like passive profiles that are um, not forbidding that much. I'm fine for betting over I think it's a bit too loose. But just to say that I think if I saw this profile, I would have fall the King Jack here. Anyway. Um, can you see fall jack nine here? Yeah, and the king jack, maybe not not the king jack uh, against Piggy, but the uh, king jack against the wreck. Maybe you could have bluffed the river. No, nah, I don't like to make fall nice against such profiles. Okay, here a bit small. So from the bets, if you have a texture like eight, eight deuce, it's mixed between bet and check. In general, people tend to over see bad bits here, so you can over raise in the, in the big line. Also, over call to bluff more rivers. Mm, Ace 10 suited here. I'm going to um, wait. Queen 3 going to fold. <laughs> uh it's a funny sizing. Uh, I think I'm going to call this then. Nice. Uh I don't expect that many falls once you check now. Uh when he do this, this sizing. It's easy for me to have pocket four, pocket five here, so I'm gonna start the bluff. Um gonna bet so much I'm going to bet here. I'm gonna bet half pots. I'm gonna jump the river. I expect too many calls once you play this one. I'm gonna jump. And I think he will call kings here. He says hello. So I think he's no he's in, he knows me. And I think if he knows me, he will see me too much on the pocket five, pocket five, uh pocket four, pocket five. No, okay, he called with two pairs, okay. Thought he was going to call a bit uh loser. Um Ajax is a bluff catcher in the sense that I'm not jamming a three. So he probably have better bluff catchers, but it shouldn't. As I like to say often, I'm going to forget that. Uh, it, blocker shouldn't be that important here because um, against a human, if you call is great with the good bluff catcher region and this type of spots, it will be great with the weaker region because nobody's going to play a balanced enough here. I'm going to have a small range in this spot, even if it's not a typical strategy. Okay, on the ace. Uh, he actually called like, uh, like he called weaker ends when I he fall better ends. No, he doesn't fall better ends. Let me check. Yeah, just um, I think uh, when people know me, it's put uh, Simeon pocket five, pocket five, and it's just um, call a bit too much. But if he if he thinks the the call is good with kings, it will be good with a strike against a human because um, humans are too unbalanced uh, for the blockers to have really good positive impact. Uh, now if a ten, I think ten is strong enough to value bet. So I'm gonna bet here. That's loose, but that's fine. Like he should block all the time, but a ten. 
he will often bet nice on the river if he should. So I think we have the. The other problem he spots is uh, in order to value bets here, he needs to call worse too, which I don't think is going to happen on much in spots. So retrospectively, I actually prefer to check here. And if he raises an all in, I jump. <laughs> no, I don't think it will be great. Mm, what does he have? Ace Jack, Ace Queen. No, Ace Jack will call. He falls. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Okay, splash pots. Maybe we can have end. Uh, all the time. We can play this if um, Sebo falls. Mm, can I raise eight four off? Um, well, if he's there, you don't adapt. It's it's okay, but no, it's it's really too weak. I need to fold. Can't even call this. Uh, I'm fine, like, um, raising 10 big blinds a lot, but I don't think we should do this end. Uh, King 10, when I check the bet a bit too much, so I like to check here. No, the bet or the check too much? Yeah, the bet too much. The bet a bit too much here. And now when he check, I'm going to pot and bluff the river. I think there will be too much faults. And it's already fall on the turn. I think three quarter is better because... I know there are a lot of rivers I can bluff, so just take more as, uh, on his closer hand when he has a closer hand. H jack here, I'm going to check back. H8, I'm going to open. Um, never falling his size. The question is, do we raise? And I don't think we should here. I'm going to call. And 10. Um, I'm not going to bluff. No, 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 I'm not looking to block them. I should pot, but no, I'm gonna check. It's a queen here. Oh, let's go! We win! Oh, it's going to be extremely rare, but okay. Anyway, such as that we play a lot in 1k. You could be cool too or so I'm playing a lot at 1k. Uh, okay, 9-8, I'm going to open here because of the wreck in the big lines. I'm going to bet here. Hold, okay. I should watch my red line on, on Russian cash. I think my one so far is like 50. I think it's 55. I should check. I don't have that many simple. King Queen here, I'm going to bet small. Okay. Um pocket for I'm checking here. Okay, he's tanking. So in general, tanks are like close in or nuts that Easy day to raise, so I don't feel really super sensitive to bet King Queen here on the turn. So I prefer to check here. Mm, nah, I will call. Um, if you bet three quarter, I will think about it, but any other sizing I'm calling. And if he checks, I think I have the best 10 super often. I'm going to bet. Uh, I'm going to bet 12 here. No, not 14, 12. Mm. 
Mm, absolutely nobody's buffering here. So and he called with a seven of space. So that was a call cool send on the top. That's why I didn't bet the turn. Um, pocket free here. I'm going to bet this end. I'm not going to range bets, especially against uh, a player that play higher than 200 now. Uh, Jack 10. I don't even know why I'm betting against three players. Uh, start to be <laughs> start to be tired. Uh, I'm gonna false never call. Uh, Jack 10 here. Yeah, but now I want to bluff, but. I'm going to check. Yeah, I have the win. Okay. Yeah, when's it, when he doesn't bet the turn, I don't think to have that. But that should be a check on the flop. It's not a good bet. Then I'm going to free bet. In five, I'm going to fold. Next, I'm going to open. 10 9 suited here. I uh, will bet small. And you want a gift? Yeah, gonna give because um, you arrived at this timing on the video. I'm not saying this at the end because you know a lot of people <laughs> just watch only the end. Uh, so you want uh, you can send me a free ends in story on Discord. You will have me in the description, and I will uh, I will answer them. Uh, Ten nine here. I'm going to check on the turn. So congrats if you watch uh, this amount of video. That's mean you're really motivated. And that's that's great. And it's also mean I would fall 10 9 here. There's no way I can call. Okay. 10 6, I'm going to open. Queen 9, I'm going to fold. Hmm. A6 shoot here, I'm going to call. Yeah, this is exactly the situation where against a tight fish on the blue line, I can leave this. Uh, A6 here, uh, actually on this ball, we want to size up. I don't think you have that incentives to bet small here, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bet small. I mean, it's okay, I just, I think when I go up, it's a little bit too much. Okay, Jax, I'm going to open to free bet. E7, we open. Um, this flop here, that should be a mix between a bet and a check. Uh, but against the pool, I'm going to bet here. I'm going to fold Jax. I mean, the best case scenario is a flip. So I'm not going to do a move here. The thing is, like, this pool is so tight. I think it's too much queens and kings. That's so close. I'm going to fold. I'm pretty confident in this fold against the pool. Uh, E7, I'm going to check the turn on 10. And it's another useful on the river. Okay. And I think we should bluff. I don't have that many bluffs in my pussy region. No. No, I can like hold the queen for king five, etc. I'm gonna check. I think he has pocket four. Ace eight, eight, king. Okay. I don't think he fold that. Okay, nine four. I'm gonna fold. Eight four. I'm gonna fold. So yeah, you can send me free ends, and I'll I'll answer them. Mm. Pocket force here. I'm going to open. I advise you to fold. Six four is not an open. It's important uh, to do breaks. So here I'm not doing it because I'm on video. But if you play two hours, I really, really strongly advise you to do a break at one hour, even if it's only five minutes, even if it's two minutes. 
uh, it will uh, help you maintaining uh, focus here because as you might notice I'm way less focused and in the beginnings no more because I do I do a uh, small session for like many reasons and when I play for a long time start to be a bit more tired I uh, need to think a bit more of my action I need to be careful on the creative move I want to do because there are more mistakes at the end at the like middle of the session uh, in the middle of the session Queen six here, I'm going to fold. King six, I'm going to checking out the position here. And on the turn, I'm going to bet three quarter. Mm. And he fold, okay. Do you know that on a lot of spots, when there is double first row, people um, uh, do bigger sizing, but that's actually the opposite. You should uh, have a bigger sizing when there is no draws. Um, and it's something you, it's really tough to understand when you were all not, you didn't share, excuse me, you didn't study it in theory. But actually that makes sense. And if you want the answer, just ask me the, the comments. Uh, just ask me the, Question in the comments. I'm going to squeeze this queen here. And if this guy raised, we have a fold. A6 here. I'm going to fold. You can, you can free bet that. Controlling and this queen, I will um, play this as a free bet against Camille. Open Clinton, open okay. I'm going to bet. Okay, I'm going to call here. I need to raise okay. Now it's really merged, but I think it's better to call. I'm gonna raise better 10x and always a call, nothing else to do. Okay, Jack just off. Thanks. Turn, I don't think it's strong enough. And like most players, like if they call the big raise on the turns, they also call the, the bet for me on the reverse. So I let them spaz when they bluff. And um, I don't think he will fall that much on the river. And there are not that many rivers when I can raise the turn and bet the river. So I think it's better to call. It's just here, I'm going to bet small. Cool. Okay, on the turn, I'm gonna check. You can bet this. It's too weak. And the river, I'm never folding. I can even think about bluff raising to make all the speed against some size. Oh. oh, I want to fall. Jeez. I'm gonna fall. Are you sure? No, I want to write in the chat. <sighs> yeah, I think it's a fool. I don't, I don't think they are balanced in the other bets. So, should they end up left? And I don't think an ace is deciding if it's me. Many end that just wants to get called by an ace. So, uh, I think fold is better. Uh, 10 8 here. I'm going to bet the turn big. It shouldn't be the case with this end, but I don't expect uh, the sizing to get cold enough. On texture like this, it's actually not that difficult to defend enough. But I don't think it's equal enough. Anyway, and I can, I can bluff most reverse here. Yeah. I could bluff because you can bluff spade renounce. So when there's a queen or king, I will have less bluff in my Percy region. So I think this bluffs against a pool probably makes a bit more money compared to theories. So I will overtake them all the time against a wider pool. FK, if I play 1k, 5k, of course, I'm not doing this all the time. Okay, Jack Foss and folds. Jack goes off and folding. 6 4 folding 2. 8 7. Uh, I don't think it makes money when you open this, especially with this rake. I open when there is a fish in the big line. Uh, fish in the small line is not an argument. I mean, it's not going to impact that much the EV. I'm going to forbid this. 
I'm going to forget freaks. And Queen Eight. I'm going to open because this guy plays really loose. And there is a wreck in this button and maybe in the small blind, so I'm going to open a bit loose. The bottom should be queen nine, so opening queen eight shouldn't be that bad. If it's a reg in a big blind, I'm just holding. King queen of here will open. And free deuce, I'm going to fold. Here will open, king queen of. Uh, king queen, I'm going to get small. Queen six unfolding. Going to free bet here, especially as deep. Uh, you win more money when you free bet this hand as deep because as uh, a free bet less, um, you overvalue your your equity often. And they are bluffing you way less of the position. So it's super. It's way more profitable than the theory. So when you play deeper against the open razor, you just take them all the time. You can take them all the time. 10-7 uh, here. I don't really like the alphabets, but uh, I think we still can find the roof. Yeah, I'm going to call. People have this side, and it's a good side. Uh, on the turn, I expect actually too much. Um, uh, I'm going to check. I don't think betting is fine. In some spots, I like to lead, but I don't think it's this one. Uh, and call check, yeah. I think they bluffed now, yeah. King Jack or something, yeah. I know seven six here should be a call. Uh, can you free bet this sometimes? I'm gonna call uh, I know what I should have done. There you go, I should have lead one blind. Because they will be way more bluffy against the lead compared to the check. The check was done. Uh, anyway, uh, seven six here. I'm going to bet really big. Yeah, I should have bet one blind. They don't bluff enough. And if, if they bluff when when I check, they will bluff when I bet one blinds too. So I prefer to generate small bluff from like the profile. So just going to check when I check. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's bad. Anyway, typically the the mistakes I'm not doing when I, I mean, it's not a huge mistake, but it's typically the wrong move I do when I stay in another position. Um, queen ten off here. I'm gonna call queen jack. I'm gonna call two. Uh, it's gonna be a I'm gonna bet here. I'm gonna fold up on the left table. And we have close to the same stack here. That's, that's great. More than three big, 300 big blinds. Uh, I'm going to check on the king here. And now on the river, I'm not falling. If you bet small, if you bet big, we can consider it. And so now I should probably bet. Check so fast. I'm going to use O here against uh, 50 VP AP. Oh. Going to bluff raise. He's going to raise. Otherwise, just timing here. He has way too much timing tail. Yeah, queen 10. And now it's a block, man. Shouldn't check that. I'm going to. Yeah. It's funny because I think it, uh, against freaks, it's a bit tougher, but. I think it doesn't make money when you open, but <laughs> actually when you free bet, I think it makes money. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, it's seven here against a loose profile. Tank on the flop. Or maybe disconnection. It's probably the probably the thing here. And yeah, he, he got disconnected. And he sounds here. Okay. I'm gonna be super small. 
Okay. Um, now I need to size up clearly. So we can size BP, I think we need to use the overbet turn here. You need to fall often, but I think it's, you just need to size up as big as possible and be close to a pot size bet here. I think you called it probably the same range when, oh, thanks. Okay, thanks. Uh, that's, that's really why you need to size up because you need to take as much as possible when he has one pair. Uh, and profiles that have IVPAP are like all less inelastic to the size. That's why you, you see me doing small sizing every time against Rex because on GD they're over four. But sometimes you just need to, to, to take massive size. And I think actually on the on the turn, I can even size like 17 or 18. It's probably better. Um, okay, King Queen, I'm folding. I can't feel bad. Anyway, into open aces. Um, aces here, I'm going to bet small. And he fold, okay. Six five here, I will squeeze. And it's gonna be the last then actually of the session. Um really hope you enjoyed it. We're going to see the the last one. Um yeah, that's about it. So um yeah, I think he's going to call and we'll be... no, okay. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the long format. Um if you enjoyed it, uh, tell me in the comments. And um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, subscribe if it's not done yet and see you soon. Bye, guys.